Salut, c'est f 2 j'espère que tu vas bien. Aujourd'hui, Fender nous annonce les toutes nouvelles American Ultra 2 et pour l'occasion, je cède ma place à un invité très spécial. Bonjour, son of Vente. My name is Alan Abbasi. I'm from Fender and I've traveled here to visit with you today and talk about the new Ultra 2 series. Ultra 2 is our most advanced series of instruments uh, that feature incredible tone with noiseless pickups, our fastest playing necks, new colors, and a host of other features that I'm going to run you through today. <laughs> right now to start with is the American Ultra 2 Telecaster. This is one of the models that we are going to show to you today. Some of the great features about the Telecaster, you'll notice right away it looks a little bit different than the Ultra 1 Telecaster. The binding is removed, but what we have here is a fully contoured body, almost like a Stratocaster. So this Telecaster body has an arm contour here, so it's more comfortable when you're playing. We have all the beautiful Ultra 2 contours on the back of the body here with uh, a sculpted or tapered neck heel that allows you to get really easy access into the upper frets. Uh, so the body you'll notice is a little new. Um, like we say, the necks are some of the fastest playing necks we have in our lineup. And that's because of the shape and the way we treat the neck with the finish. Uh, the finish here is a beautiful ultra satin finish that we just apply an extra little treatment to that makes it super smooth, easy to go up and down the, the neck really quickly with no friction whatsoever. We have beautiful rolled edge All our US made guitars have rolled edges on the fingerboards, but on the Ultra 2 series, we roll the edges just a little bit more. So if you bring your thumb around, it's a little easier to get your hand around the neck here. All the Ultra 2 guitars and basses have compound radius. So it's 10 to 14 inch compound radius, which means when you get into the upper frets, it bends very easily with no choking out or no fret choking, which is great. And these are medium jumbo frets. Um, one new thing about the Ultra 2 series that's incredible is all these guitars and basses have quarter sawn necks. And what that means is it's a different way of cutting the wood and it's a little bit more of a premium way to cut the wood. It makes the neck very, very solid and it will be more resistant to warping and um, it's very good for using the instruments in different environments. If it's humid or hot or cold, it will be a little bit more stable. You won't have to adjust the neck as often. Also new for the Ultra 2 series are uh, Lumen Lay side dots, and we'll show you a close-up of that later. Uh, but these dots, once they're charged with the sun or a bright flashlight, will glow in the dark. And it's very easy to see your position on the neck, uh, even if you're on a dark stage, because the dots light up like stars in the sky. All the guitars on the Ultra 2 series have these locking tuners with short posts, and all the nuts are tusk nuts, so they're low friction nuts. So if you're bending notes or using a Strat tremolo, it will be less friction and stay in tune a little bit better. One other huge feature of all the models in the Ultra 2 series is brand new revoiced Ultra 2 noiseless pickups. A noiseless pickup is very difficult to make sound like a real single coil because of its construction. And so we do our best to tweak the pickups and make them a little bit closer to a true single coil, every different version of these pickups that we make. So the Ultra 2 noiseless pickups on this Telecaster, you'll notice uh, retain all the beautiful twang and snap that a Tele is known for uh, and all without any hum. Take a listen. <laughs> So you can tell right there, it still retains all the snappiness of the, and the twang of the telly, but very quiet. You can barely hear any hum at all. Uh, I'm going to turn it up very loud. No hum, so that's great. If you use a big pedal board or you're in a noisy environment where the electricity is causing a lot of hum, these noiseless pickups will uh, sound very nice because there's 
absolutely quiet, and they still retain all the beautiful sparkliness and warmth that Fender pickups are known for. So the noiseless pickups are fantastic. Every single instrument has a newly voiced set. In addition, um, all the guitars have this special S1 switch in the volume knob. What this allows you to do is something different on each guitar. On the Telecaster, what this does is it turns both pickups on and puts them in series, uh, which is kind of like how a humbucker is wired. So when you're using that switch, it gives you a little bit of a boost, a little bit more volume, and I'll demonstrate. This is with the switch not pushed. So you'll notice that without the switch, um, it has more high end, and when the switch is pushed in, you get a little bit more low end, a little bit more volume. It's almost like a little bit of a solo boost. So if you were using overdrive, It kind of gives you a little bit more gain with the overdrive, which is great because you can use it like a solo boost. Um, so all these features uh, make these instruments some of the best sounding, fastest playing instruments that we offer. Another little upgrade on the Telecaster is we have a modern style Telecaster jack here that actually is screwed into the body instead of pressure fit and an angled cable will actually work in there which is really nice and then the neck has a nice rich tint to it that's a little darker than some of our other lines and finally you'll notice that all these guitars and basses have an aluminum pick guard to give them a more modern look uh, because that's what the Ultra 2 series is all about. It's, it's about more modern versions of all our models. And these aluminum guards are silky smooth under your fingers. Some of the vintage style aluminum guards can feel a little scratchy and uncomfortable under your fingers, but you'll notice when you play these instruments that if you rest your fingers on the pick guard when you play, it, they're silky smooth and feel really, really nice under your fingertips. So that's a heck of a lot of stuff. Um, and I did didn't even mention treble bleeds, but I'll, I'll describe that when I talk about the strats. Uh, so that is the American Ultra 2 Telecaster, and this is one of the new colors that you're looking at in the series. This is called Avalanche, and it's kind of a really nice off-white, very handsome with the silver aluminum guard. American Ultra 2 Telecaster. Now let's look at some of the strats. <laughs> Now we're going to talk about the Stratocasters, and just like the Telecaster, uh, the Ultra 2 Stratocaster has all the same great features uh, from the quarter sawn neck to the lumen lay side dots, locking tuners, modern D neck shape, satin back finish, compound radius. You'll notice that it's an all new set of Ultra 2 noiseless pickups. Um, we've got a brand new color here that you're looking at, which is called Solar Flare. So let's take a listen to the pickups because the Ultra 2 noiseless pickups get rid of all the hum, but they, re they maintain the beautiful top end sparkle tone that a Strat is known for. <laughs> Also, they sound really good with overdrive. Just 
just like the Telecasters, all the Stratocasters have an S1 switch hidden away in the volume knob, uh, and the S1 switch allows you to get two different tones out of the Stratocaster. Um, in positions one and two, when you push the S1 button in, it will add the neck pickup into the signal chain. So now I'm gonna demonstrate the S1 switch on the Stratocaster. Um, here's, it, here's the tone without the switch pushed in. <laughs> Push the switch in. So that is position one where you add the neck pickup in. It gives you the neck and bridge combination has a little bit more oomph to it, a little bit more low end. And then if you go into position two and push the button in, now you will get all three pickups in. So here's position two without the button pushed in. So you can really hear a big difference, and that's two extra tones, seven total tones that you can get with a Stratocaster. One thing I mentioned about the Telecaster, uh, as all these guitars have, is a treble bleed in the volume. And um, what that means is, sometimes when you're using a Strat or Tele, if you turn down the volume, you lose a little bit of your high end. Uh, the treble bleed will allow you to maintain your high end even when you're rolling the volume off. Uh, and I'll demonstrate what that sounds like. So there the volume's almost all the way off. And you still have that nice high end. That's uh, what a treble bleed does. And that is on all the guitars. Another thing I didn't mention about the Telecaster, but it does have this feature. Uh, there are no load pots on all the Ultra 2 guitars. So um, a no load pot allows you to turn the, the tone all the way up to 10 and it kind of clicks in. And when it clicks in, it takes the tone circuit completely out of the signal chain and just gives you a tiny little bit more uh, high end. <laughs> Might be hard to hear, but it's there and it's a really useful feature. Other things about the Strat are they have the same beautiful Ultra 2 contours, the rear body contour and the tapered neck heel. Uh, that really is helpful if you're soloing. <laughs> in the very upper registers here, really easy to get your hand in there to play. And again, it has locking tuners, all great features for the new American Ultra 2 series. Another cool thing about the Strats are they have a two-point tremolo, which as opposed to a six-screw tremolo, has a little bit less friction, it's a little bit smoother to use, and in conjunction with this tusk nut, which has very low friction, it stays in tune really well and works silky smooth. <laughs> Still nice and in tune. Okay, so that's the American Ultra 2 Stratocaster. Another model that's offered for the Stratocaster in the Ultra 2 series is an Ultra 2 HSS Stratocaster, and that will feature two um, American Ultra 2 Noises hot single coils paired with a brand new Haymaker humbucker, and I'm gonna demonstrate that Haymaker humbucker in just a moment. Now what I'm holding is the brand new Ultra 2 Meteora. Uh, this is a brand new model for the series, and you might notice this shape because we've been using it quite a bit recently. The Meteora started its life out as kind of a limited edition, and then we added it to the Player Plus series in the last few years. We feel like this is a perfect addition to the Ultra 2 series because all these Ultra 2 instruments are kind of like the high-end sports car version of all our Fender models like the Strat, Tele, P and J. Now, this Meteor is very special because it has all the great features of American Ultra 2, which are quarter sawn, maple necks, lumen lace side dots, 10 to 14 inch compound radius. Uh, they have locking tuners brand new Haymaker humbuckers, uh, S1 switching. We've got the modern jack here that will accompany a uh, angled cable. 
One thing I didn't mention earlier was that the American Ultra 2 Series now has a new fingerboard option, and you're seeing that here on this Meteora uh, Ebony. So now, besides maple, you can choose ebony as a fingerboard, depending on what color you get. All the instruments have an ebony option. That's really nice. Ebony is a premium wood that tonally is somewhere between maple and rosewood. It's still nice and bright. It's silky smooth uh, under your fingertips, and it's a joy to play. And then, of course, the Meteoras do have Ultra 2 contours with the sculpted or tapered neck heel that allow you to get into the upper registers very easily treble bleed on the volume. But what I'd really like to demonstrate here is um, these new Haymaker humbuckers sound really nice. They're designed to be kind of mid-ranged focus with kind of medium plus to high gain, and they still retain the really smooth top end and very nice string-to-string -string note clarity. So you'll be, be able to hear every note when you ring out a chord. <laughs> So as you can see, um, this has really good gain, great string to string note clarity. It's nice and chunky. So it's really gonna appeal to those hard rock kind of high performance players. And we feel like the Ultra 2 Meteor body as well is kind of a more hard rock forward thinking looking model. Um, now, um, there's some really unique controls here. Uh, the S1 switch on the Meteora actually splits the humbucker into single coils. It will split both humbuckers. And then there's a unique uh, tone control here. It's a treble cut and a bass cut. So you can actually adjust treble and bass separately with the tone controls here. And as you can see, there's a full set of Haymaker humbuckers that is a matched set. And the neck Haymaker sounds really nice and smooth. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and split the humbucker so you can hear the single coil sound. Just a little bit more wiry and high end. It actually probably makes more of a difference if you're playing clean. And then you can roll off the bass and treble separately, which is really interesting. You got a lot of flexibility to shape your tone. Um, this is Texas T, which is a color that we had in Ultra 1. It was one of the most popular colors, so we have kept that in the Ultra 2 series. And um, that is the American Ultra 2 Meteora. Now I'm going to go ahead and talk a little bit about the basses. All right, folks, now what we're gonna do is take a look at some of the brand new American Ultra 2 basses. I'm holding the brand new 
P bass. Now, just like the guitars, the American Ultra 2 basses are designed for speed, comfort, amazing tone. Like I said before, these are kind of like the high-end sports car versions of all our models. We've done a lot of upgrades on the basses for Ultra 2. Quite a few, actually. Um, to start, it's got all the same great features that the guitars do as far as the quarter sawn necks, lumen lace side dots, compound radius, beautiful ultra satin finish on the back of the neck. All the bases have these American Ultra 2 carves with the tapered neck heel, so it's real easy to get up into the upper registers. Um, they all feature brand new Ultra 2 noiseless pickups in this P base. It's a PJ configuration. Some of the things that are new for the bases specifically would be the fact that they are now string through body construction. All the American Ultra 1 bases are top load, but our bridge is upgraded, so it's still can be top loaded or string through the body. So you can choose to do all or all, all or just a few of the strings top load or string through. Gives you a lot of flexibility. Really great. The bases all have these really nice vintage style paddle key lightweight tuners. So the neck isn't too heavy and it doesn't dive when you're holding it in your lap. It really important, all the bases have brand new preamps. We completely went through the preamp. We listened to a lot of feedback from players. And when we were designing this, we wanted to incorporate some of that feedback. So one of the things we heard from players was, we like to use our passive tone in active and passive mode. Ultra One preamps did not do this. So we added a passive tone control that works in both active and passive mode on the Ultra 2 basses. In addition, um, we've sweetened the mid-range. We've added a, a switch here that allows you to choose which frequency of mid-range you are affecting with the boost. Uh, you can choose 325 hertz or 750 hertz. That's kind of a sweet spot and gives you a nice wide range of tonal variation there. Uh, we have treble, middle, and bass that all have plus or minus 10 dB of boost or cut. And when you crank the mids and select between the two mid frequencies using this little toggle, you can really hear a big difference. It allows you to, to again, shape or dial in your tone so you're sitting in the mix just right. Um, the bases also have an S1 switch. And on the bases, what the S1 switch does is actually, it turns off the preamp. The preamps are kind of always on on these bases. When you plug in and go to play, the, the preamp is automatically on. And if you want to go into passive mode, you would push the button in and turn the preamp off, which functions a little bit differently than normal. But we figure most active bass players like to play in active mode most of the time. So that's why we did that. As you can see, these are 18 volt preamps. There's two batteries here loaded with these easy open quick replacement cavities here. Really nice. Um, so again, the, the preamp being updated is a big deal for the bases. It's much more flexible, sounds great. Uh, you'll also notice um, all these bases have these heavy knurled knobs. This is a brand new style of knurled chrome knob that has uh, the edges are a little bit more intense very easy to grip with your pinky or your finger so you can do quick micro adjustments of the volume if you need to. And they look really nice and they feel really premium. Those are heavy neural knobs. Um, another great thing about the American Ultra 2 bases uh, is the fact that now the truss rod adjustment is at the headstock. Uh, on Ultra 1, the truss rod access is at the butt end of the heel, which means sometimes you would have to pop the neck out. It was a little more difficult to access the truss rod. Now that it's at the headstock, it's much easier to get in there and make an adjustment, which is fantastic. Okay, um, so these are all features that are shared by all the Ultra 2 bases. Uh, and this is, again, the new Avalanche color, which is a really nice off-white. So that is the American Ultra 2 Precision Base. Uh, now let's take a look at the Jazz Base. All right, what I'm holding now is the brand new American Ultra 2 Jazz Base. <laughs> And just to summarize, has all the same great features as the P bass, as far as the quarter saw neck, lumen lay side dots, compound radius, brand new Ultra 2 noiseless jazz bass pickups, incredibly upgraded preamp with a mid frequency selector switch, an on off S1 switch, uh, brand new voicing, it, as well as 18 volts, string through construction. So all these great features. 
And this is a brand new color as well uh, called Noble Blue. Uh, we were inspired by sports cars for these colors and you can really tell with this one. Um, there's also another color called Sinister Red. That's a brand new color that we'll put a picture up because we don't have one here. Uh, but that's another brand new color for the Ultra 2 series. Um, and you'll see that we're demonstrating the ebony fretboard here as an option. All the instruments have an ebony and a maple fretboard option. If you choose one or the other, that's up to you. That is pretty much all the instruments we have to talk about here today for the American Ultra 2. Uh, for the bass line, I should mention that there's not just a precision and a jazz, there's also an American Ultra 2 Jazz 5 and an American Ultra 2 Meteora bass that will be coming soon. And there is a left-handed American Ultra 2 Stratocaster that's available for left-handed players. Uh, so that's it for me. Um, thanks for watching and If you have any other questions, please contact Sonavant. Si c'est désormais tout ce qu'il faut savoir sur les dernières American Ultra 2, les modèles que Allen t'a présenté sont dispo dans l'ensemble du réseau Sonavant.com. Je te laisse t'abonner à nos réseaux sociaux et je te dis à bientôt dans une prochaine vidéo.